welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Go Get It Hearth Guard. We're going to be playing um, in kind of aggressive slanted deck that has some pretty cool little tricks it can do in the mid game. But we're going to be focused on buffing our own units using um, Ionia and Freljord together. Lots of cards in both Ionia and Freljord care about buffing their units. Like our one drops, we got Inspiring Mentor. Grant an, al an ally in hand plus one plus zero and Omen Hawk grant the top two allies of our deck plus one plus one. So two different ways to buff there. We have Green Glade Elder uh, being able to buff new Green Glade Elder is now a three one. So it you know, makes that attack a lot better. Um, th this will be interesting to try this out as a three one. Um, we have uh, Bowling Beer drawing some stuff, but then our, our other buff, of course, is Hearthguard, right? Like our, our deck's name is Go Get It Hearthguard. So, you know, Avro's and Hearthguard in here summons. Uh, or grants all of our allies in our deck plus one plus one and then we have go get it that can recall Averroes and Hearthguard put a new copy into play and then the one that you recall back to your hand now costs zero so go get it can give basically by itself give all of your allies in your deck plus two plus two getting you know two hearth guards there but you can also use that with the green glade elder give all of your allies in your hand plus two plus two as well um, so those are those are some good buffs we have Navori Highwayman that really wants all those buffs um, to make it uh, pretty big, like where you can get multiple bodies with this with this thing. Um, you know, we were buffing up Ruthless Raider with the Overwhelm, Sejuani with the Overwhelm, and of course Zed. Zed's an amazing attacker, and if you just buff up Zed, you get not only its body, but then the Living Shadow also buffed up as well. Um, so we got a lot of cool things like that. Babbling Burek's in here to give us some card advantage, draw our Hearth Guard or our Sejuani. Um, Tusk Raider <laughs> can even double up everything, which could end up being pretty crazy. But yeah, so we'll try this out. Like, um, we're going to have a couple avalanches in here. It looks kind of weird playing, like, all these small things in avalanche, but I think it could work out well. Because either either we, like, curve out um, and we don't really need the avalanche, or if we have, like, a slower hand, like, where we want to play, like, Green Glade Elder on three and, like, unload these things on, like, turn four or turn five, we could also play, like, an avalanche on, you know, kind of, like, maybe not do anything to begin with play slowly, play an avalanche on like turn three, and then play like Green Glade Elder, and then start unloading like a bunch of like cheap small things, but but that are buffed up. And so like really kind of um, overwhelm our opponent that won't be able to catch up after that. So we'll kind of see how it works. All right, so we're gonna play, uh, we're just playing it normal, because you know, it's just a meme tier deck here. Go get it with Avros and Hearthguard, and just a whole bunch of little buffs. So we'll see how it goes. So it looks like this is probably just a fearsome deck, right? All Shadow Isles. So Avalanche is really important against the fearsomes. Let's mulligan these three. I'm going to keep Zed because Zed's pretty awesome. But Inspiring Mentor buffing up plus one plus zero. That's important against fearsome. And um, the new... Let's do this. The new Green Glade Elder being a 3-1. That's a really important blocker against Fearsome. Unfortunately, our hand's not very good. Oh, this is not looking like a Fearsome deck. They're playing Go Hard. But yeah, double Harsh Winds deny. Not a very not a very good opening hand. So I kept Zed, and we drew Inspiring Mentor and a whole bunch of expensive spells. Not that you. So if I play this next turn, we have six mana. Yeah, I mean, we're, I'm just going to play this. Unfortunately, I only have just the Zed to buff up. But oh well. This is just a, a perfect blocker. No, stop with these go hards. Stop with the go hards. I really wish I had one more mana to have Deny with Zed. Oh, it looks like we just got Zed. I am the blade in the darkness. I think our deck's going to look a lot better in other games. I think that these draws were pretty bad, but I mean, at the end of the day, we still have you know, this huge Zed, so it's not too bad, I guess. We have really big Zed, and we have Harsh Winds. They can do some work. <laughs> but man, 
we have a like obviously we're not gonna just go get it our very big zed and then it because the the buffs go away same with shadow shift we're not gonna do that tusk creator costs eight mana that's not coming in forever i kind of have nothing else wow they passed i don't know what they have going on over there but it doesn't seem like very much either Ooh, are they gonna ruination uh, i guess i can't play that they followed the wrong master. Yeah, I guess I can't play it because we would get wrecked by Ruination. I guess I I guess we deny. I kinda wanna like save deny for ruination though, right? But I, I guess we just deny. I am the shadow. I mean, so I could recall this living shadow. No. So their next one is uh, going to be a Packer Bangs. If I play this Elder, does it buff up this Zed in my hand right here? I'm not sure if it does or not. It does? Okay, cool. No greater gift than knowledge. Yep, it did. So yeah, I should buff that up. Okay, cool. And we can open attack before a ruination or another pack of bags or anything. I still have some fire. Cool. So really weird hands, but Zed is still awesome. <laughs> so just Zed with deny backup. Worked out well. Twisted of Fate Aphelios, we're in normals. I don't need to be playing Twisted Fate Aphelios in normals. So obviously that's gonna go. Do I want to keep Avalanche, right? So like that's that's the thing. Do I want to curve like this or do I want to have Avalanche? I think I think we'll mulligan Avalanche. And you know, do we want to be patient? Do we want to have like the turn three Avalanche and then unload, or do we want to unload first? Yeah, I'm sure our opponent's just, like, learning the deck and stuff. It's it's okay. You know, I'm not actually mad that they're playing this deck in normals. I'd, I'd say that jokingly. But it's, you know, it's a it's a great deck. You cannot hold us down. Cool. I like that trade. So if I wait to turn on... If I wait to play this Ruthless Raider, we do get to buff it up. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Unfortunately, that Zed didn't get buffed up. That's a pretty nice inspiring mentor. A one mana 4-3 that also gives something else <laughs> plus one plus zero. Or played one. Dead in their tracks. Do not fear the shrouded path. I call my training. Pretty impressive. You know, power out here and everything. Pretty impressive. Uh, 
Oh, hi, we man. I need you buffed. I'm not afraid. Just a wee bit blade. So if I go get it, the Zed, our new Zed will just be a 3-2. But basically it will kill the box puss and still give me a 3-2. This land is ours. Start the Should have stayed home, pal. Cool, so, we'll... so that resolves, so that means we'll uh, get rid of the box plus. Play this Zed, be able to open attack. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Oh, Helios. Helios, of course, just kills my Ruthless Raider as well. Oh, they didn't, they didn't do it. They didn't use that moon weapon. That's a surprise. That's a surprise. Oh, they would have got the deal three to a follower moon weapon and kill the Ruthless Raider. But they let us open attack. So yeah, this is probably why they're normal, right? They're they're still just like learning learning their cars, learning the game and stuff. Him, mother. Easy. I'll put him down to two. Yeah, then they, they. I think. I guess they ran out of time, and so just like made stop the blocking there. But then without blocking, they they lethal. <laughs> I liked our chances though. No, not more Helios. Our deck look, has looked good. The um, inspiring mentor. Yeah, I'm mulliganing this. <clears throat> the the whole Inspiring Mentor, Green Glade Elder part of our deck, like these two cards together, have both looked very good. The question, of course, is how quickly do I want to unload my hand, or do I want to wait till after Elder? Bring me tea to gain the strength of rivers. Ah. Uh, basically, only, uh, I guess they they could have had the Spacey Sketcher also. I probably should have just led with Omen Hawk. I should have just let with Omen Hawk. Oh man, getting really punished for not playing Omen Hawk, then we drew Highway Man. This could have been a 2-3. Oh, I got really punished for not playing Omen Hawk. I'd try to get the extra damage in. Because then, yeah, this could have been a 2-3, and then after Elder, a 3-4. Hey, yeah, that's that's right. I'm, I'm Hawk. I should just play. I should play the Hawk. What do they discard? Oh, the dust, right? Cause that's how cards work. Can I paint you? And of course, I want to make this trade. I don't want them to have the one-one with my Green Glade Elder. What would you wish to learn? Pablo's been down! Let his knee out! Alright, so I can double spell with the twos. In front of the five, or I can play the Babbling Bjerg. Let's play the Babbling Bjerg. I feel like if I, you know, playing Highway Man right now after they just did that gives them just an easy kill. Teeth bigger stormstones. Ill met by moonlight. Yeah, Diana's amazing. Their deck's really great. <laughs> Night descends. Ugh. 
face your heretic. If they never draw or play Aphelios, we'll have a chance. But as soon as they play Aphelios, it's going to be really rough. Our strength is yours. All right, playing the five five to start with. If I do end up like using the go get it on one, I'd rather go get it the five five than the six six. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Targon's a little more busted than just some extra stats, but we'll have some some big stats, that's for sure. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Question is, will Aphelios and Twisted Fate be nerfed, do you think, or are they worth investing in? I would not be Okay. One the very good chance that they get nerfed. I would say it's a much better chance of Aphelios than Twisted Fate. Um I don't think it's. I don't think Twisted Fate's probably going to get nerfed. But two, I think that it's perfectly. I think I would recommend using wild cards on them still. Like if if you want to play Aphelios or Twisted Fate, use your wild cards on them. Go ahead. With this game, you're going to get you get more wild cards pretty quickly in this game. One, two. If we don't know if they're going to get nerfed or not. Three, even if they do get nerfed, Riot doesn't nerf cards that are not playable anymore. Even if they like receive some kind of small nerf, they're still going to be playable rather right? that's that's just how they always are so like um you know like Lee Sin, Ezreal like these cards have all gotten nerfed or changed and like they're still very playable so like I I would so there's no reason to be scared of nerfs in this game just play the decks you want to play invest in the, invest in the cards that you want to play um you know nothing like things don't get killed very much yeah, like there there are a few cards that get killed, like yeah, War Chefs got killed or or uh, Shadow Assassin got killed. There are a few cards, but not really the champions. Champions don't like even like Braum, still playable. Champions don't really get killed. We fight for one Freljord. Evening glows. What's up, Zed? Zed's not dead. Play that first, see what they do, then I'll play Zed. And then we'll still have Troll Champ back up. Yeah, then there's also going to be the new... Re yeah, if... If you would like to wait, there's going to be a new region in two weeks. Really, I guess a little bit more than one week. Right? On the third, it's w when it releases, so that's nine days from now and so yeah we'll have we'll have the new region in nine days and so if you if you'd like to wait and use and save your wild cards for cards from the new region you can you can do that too but like i said you're gonna get more you know just keep playing you'll you'll earn more wild cards daylight fades and dusk suits as the moon rises quiet reflection begins You were misguided. All right, we got the big boys battling. You are beneath me. Insolence. This is them going down to four. This is them taking 16, but they heal their nexus for four. I could play the troll chain and make it two, but that's not really worth it. Okay, so they were going to do that. They're going to just go to four. <clears throat> I think I just let that all happen. Just gonna save this troll champ. I'm gonna need the extra room to play more things anyway. And like, I could have kept something alive at, at two health with troll champ, but keeping stuff alive at two health with you know box plus and especially but with Diana, um, you know, not not too valuable. Stories of coils encircling the world. So that was from Mountain Scryer. Gave that minus one cost. So I mean, my hand's not great. I may need to just like go get at this Bjerg. Like having the Bjerg draw a second Zed was kind of not great because you know I don't, can't really play both Zeds at the same time. 
those that was the worst card for our Zet for our Bjerg to draw unless they for some, somehow kill this other Zed. So I may just have to like go get it, the Bjerg, but then it resets it to being a three three instead of a five five. But then we draw something else that maybe we can play. I'm not sure. This is this is, again we drawing pretty bad. Unfortunately, I, I don't think I can really play Highway. I mean, obviously, I could just play Highwayman Ruthless Raider, but Highwayman doesn't really attack from enough. Hey, hey. Where are you off to? Okay, I like that because I just have the my backup Zed. I just play. That's good. That gives me like something to actually play this turn. Whoa! They conceded. I don't know why, <laughs> but there we go. But preemptive concedes like that happen in normal. All right, this is going to be buff versus buff. We buffing, they buffing. Harsh winds could be really important, but I'm going to send it back. I want I want to curve out. Seems like Babbling Bear is not bad either, but again, I want to curve out. Maybe I should have kept Beard. Alright, we got one plunder for Sejuani. Oh, yuck. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, that card did not want to draw. Delicious. Ugh. Wow, they have Elixir of Iron. Wow. Well. This could not have gone any worse. When I talk about curving out, we draw our 1A drop. That I really don't want. And then, you know, our 6 drop. Deny. Uh, yeah, this went... Terribly. <laughs> right, Highway Man may not actually be playable. It's just another game where I can't actually play it. Honestly, I think I think the biggest problem so far is just having the. I think I think really the, the biggest problem that we run into is having this Tusk Raider in the deck, right? If the Tusk Raider is anything else, like that, we actually get the Omen Hawk. I think that's that's the thing. I've. This is the card that really should should go out of uh, what we've done so far. Uh, everything else has been okay, but this card needs to go. I love a taste of the ah, this is fun, yes? And I can't... Troll Chant doesn't give my... It only gives enemies minus two, minus zero, right? I can't use it to give my Omen Hawk minus See? two, minus zero to keep them from taking that damage. We fight for one frail yard. Yeah, like Tus Tusk Raider is going to be part of why we lose this game if we do lose this game, probably. I've been impressed with a lot of like the, the smaller stuff in our deck, but Tusk Raider not really. Today we fight playable. as one! You are safe with Brawl. Oh no, that's bad. That's very bad. Because of that, because it gets the, the double buff. I mean, I guess it's not really that bad, right? Because then it still ends up with... Yeah, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. Still has five health. You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must be Supper. The War Mother will unite us all. I seal this by sword. Just challenge yeah, challenging the Omenhawk is kind of the only thing they can do right now. Okay, yeah, that does not count.
Do I even want to risk it with Braum or do I want to just go after Vladimir? I guess we risk it with Braum. So this is a bad Sejuani attack. Yeah, it was a bad Sejuani attack. Okay. We kill Braum. I don't feel too bad. We killed Braum, but that was that was a bad Sejuani attack. Thank you, After Wizard. Thanks for that sub, I appreciate that. Oh, this is not good. I don't get to I don't get to block and kill um this Vladimir anymore at the top. Yeah, that was a very bad set 20 attack. Okay, so we deny this skill and then block. Block, block this thing, block this thing. So just play the 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, this Tusk Raider needs to go. It needs to be. We need to have a better card. What if it was just like Feel the Rush? Even. Right? Like Feel the Rush, 12 mana here, we get a 10 10 Z and a 10 10 Sejuati. Yeah, it should just be like a Feel the Rush. I don't I don't really imagine any times this is gonna be better than Feel the Rush. Alright, but anyway. Uh, let's yeah, we'll just play this. <laughs> yeah, 10 10 Z does sound pretty ridiculous, doesn't it? I really hope this isn't a protection spell. Because, you know, if they get to, like, block with Scar Mother Verena and protect it, we're dead. But if it's a protection spell, we're dead anyway, whether or not I attack. Okay, well, it is a protection spell. So that means we're gonna die. I can. I can avalanche. That kills that, but then we die to Scar Mother. No. Okay, well, if. So if Tusk Raider was Feel the Rush, we'd have a chance. Because the other thing, if that Tusk Raider was Feel the Rush, then my Omen Hawk would not have buffed it up and then the omen hawk would have buffed up the navori highwayman and would have been two two threes and then maybe i would have played the highwayman as two two threes earlier in the game when I, like on turn four when i didn't do anything okay we're making one small change um from the, the person that made the deck you know here we talked about different cards you know war mothers can make sense with how we're buffing up all this stuff to like bring you know keep bringing in um the buffed up allies in our deck we talked about feel the rush Really awesome, getting 10 10 Z, 10 10 Sejuani. Both those are amazing with Feel the Rush. Um, but uh, we're deciding to go with Swiftfoot over the Tusk Raider. The Tusk Raider just doesn't, it just doesn't fit in here. We just don't really turn on Plunder. Um, it, it's kind of too slow. The Swiftfoot will help. Like This is also just another great card with the... It's an it's another unit to be buffed up with Greenglade Elder and just our other stuff. But with the Recall 3 enemies, that can really help our... our uh, you know, bigger units that maybe have a kind of harder time getting through some small blockers. This can bounce like their three best blockers and then get us a really nice attack. So we're going to try a Mina Swiftfoot in that role. That, that should be a much better card um, for, for this deck. So let's give it a try. Yeah, 
Yeah, recalling Anivia's could be great. Okay. I think I like this hand. I like this hand. So the plan is um, Avalanche on turn three. Hey there. Don't mind the knife. And then, you know, Avalanche on three, Bjerg on four, Hearthguard on five. Like, go get at the Hearthguard. Well, they're not really showing that I need to Avalanche, so I guess we'll try this. I'll, I guess we'll try this instead. Monkey Idol with Troll Gifts. That looks pretty rough. That looks pretty rough. What would you wish to learn? The weak don't deserve mercy. And then Taskmaster. We're getting, we're getting wrecked here, because they're just they're just gonna have like these infinite three ones now. Yeah, we're kind of getting wrecked. I'm jealous. I wish we were doing monkey idol troll gifts. So I have what like Mina Swiftfoot to bounce that? Is that the only thing I have? Haha! They went down to two. They went down to two health. Avalanche! Nobody expects the avalanche. I'm telling y'all, nobody expects the avalanche. Wow. Good thing I didn't play that inspiring mentor, right? That I, I almost played that mentor. Good thing I didn't. Our strength is yours. Because if I would have, we wouldn't have had the mana for the avalanche. Eyes up here, or I'll cut them out. Hold it, sweetheart. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable what just happened there. I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, that avalanche in your Zed deck, they're not they're not expecting. Nobody expects the avalanche. Out before they know they're bleeding. Alright, think about just Sejuaniing. I guess that just saves two life. Maybe it's just better to play Bjerg and Mentor. So they go, what, Gangplank? Maybe a 5 5. It was right on my tail! Let's do this! Like a fish in Another water. Another <laughs> To gain the strength of rivers. Because no, I'm, I'm just never going to cast this Navori Highwayman. I don't think. You'll thank me later. Don't want mercy. Pain is not. So we know one of their cards in hand is still a spell. Or oh, wait, no, maybe that was the warning shot. I was gonna say it was a spell that they grabbed with spray fin, but actually, maybe that was the warning shot. Our will lead the way. Scream. You can't do this. Seems like a lot of damage they're taking. 22. Take 19, go to 1. 
Why would you block the five five instead of the seven five? Block the seven five. Yeah, if if <laughs> if they would have kept their monkey alive, we we would have definitely been dead to that. Um, like those powder monkeys and everything. That was pretty crazy how we got to avalanche that away. Ain't you a looker? Curses. My sweet mother. Okay. This will be close. Keep up, keep up. So many spray fins. Yuck. Oh, uh, we know that other card's a spell they just drew. Oh, it's shared spoils. Okay, Shared Spoils is not something that does one point of damage. We're not dead yet. Whoa. Is there anything good to go get? Just want to reset this Hearth Guard. Basically, I'm looking for Zed. Like, maybe if our top two cards are, are Zed, we could maybe have, like, a five-power Zed. Okay. Wasn't likely, but possible. Will no one listen? Wasn't likely. All right, let's ride onward. We got Fury of the North and Deny. It's game one way or the other. They have the they drew they they drew the warning shot. That was their third warning shot. They drew all three. They left me alive. That was a mistake. GGs. Okay, so we ended up losing. It felt like we deserved to win that one after we got the avalanche. Um, away the the monkey, but they they drew pretty well. They kept on drawing spray fins, right? Like the spray fins were perfect because they were elusive, and I just I couldn't deal with elusives. And they kept drawing, you know, like the the uh, spells that dealt damage, drew all three warning shots and a parlay and things like that. So it was close. It was really close, but we didn't quite get there. Almost, almost. Um. Deny. Why can't why can't you counter warning shot? Couldn't do it. And couldn't do it. Alright, but there we go. Let's go get a hearth card. I liked playing this deck. I like these are the kind of cards I like. I like uh I enjoy I really did enjoy playing this deck. Um I was underwhelmed by Highwayman. Um, but I was very impressed with Mentor and Elder. Um, I was very impressed with like those two cards and you know with obviously Omen Hawk, Raider, Zed. Very impressed with all that. The Avalanche did did some really good work for us. I was very happy with that. Hearthguard and Battling Bjerg and Sejuani, of course, are always awesome. Um, so, I liked it. I liked the deck a lot. Uh, but maybe, maybe like less Highway Man and maybe some more interact. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Maybe not. I would want to want to try it out some more. But, um, yeah. All right. <clears throat> Why does a warning shot hurt? <laughs> It should just be a warning. Yeah, this is a cool deck. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. I would appreciate that. Let me know what you think of the deck and, uh, you know, got any any upgrades or anything. Or if you try it out yourself, let me know how it goes for you. Hope you enjoy it as much as I did. But that's all I got here for this one for some Go Get It Hearthguard. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.